Hello everyone, welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to see how we will be measuring linear distances between two objects. Say, I have an object A and an object B. In order to find the horizontal distance between them, I go for linear measurements. And one of the traditional way of finding linear measurements is chaining. In chaining, we use a chain or a tape uh, to measure the distance between two objects and the other instruments used here are pegs, arrows, plumb bobs, cross tabs and ranging rods. Arrows are metallic, steel metallic rods uh, which are used at every chain length, end of every chain length. Pegs are wooden uh, objects which are used to uh, mark the position of terminals or other stations. And plumb bobs, while we are uh, finding the distance in a sloping ground, we use plumb bobs to find the verticality. And cross tabs, they are used to establish the perpendicularity of two lines. Ranging rods, they are used to find the distance uh, with the linearity. Next, there are different types of chains available based on our requirement. We can find, uh, we can select the type of chain we want. The first type of chain is metric chains. Uh, this is a commonly used type of chain. It is available at uh, the many different uh, variations of sizes. And here, each link is 20 cm. The next type of chain is Gunther's chain. This is also available uh, in only. Uh, Unlike metric chains, this is available in only one length, that is 66 feet, and uh, it is made up of 100 links. This is also called a surveyor's chain. Next is revenue chain. This is 33 feet long with 16 links. And next is engineer's chain. This is 100 feet long with 100 links, which means each link is 1 feet long. And next is steel band or chain. This is uh, also available in many uh, sizes. So uh, among these five types of chains, metric chains, surveyor's chain and engineer's chains are used widely. Next type of tapes. Uh, in chains, we don't have a, a particular least count. It varies from chain to chain. Whereas in tapes, we have a constant least count of one millimeter. Uh, there are four types of uh, tapes available. The first one is cloth tape. Uh, cloth tapes, as the name suggests, are made of uh, linen. Uh, the disadvantage here is that uh, due to the uh, moisture or dampness present in the atmosphere, the quality of the tape starts to deteriorate. As a result, uh, we find it difficult to measure the distances using cloth tape and it gets twisted every time. Next one is metallic tapes. Uh, they are made of varnished strip of waterproof linen interwoven with small brass, copper or bronze wires. They are obviously superior to the cloth tapes. They are mostly used in construction sites. Next is steel tape. Uh, steel tapes are uh, very good in quality and accuracy when compared to cloth and metallic tape. Uh, the, it is available in many sizes. It is mostly used for surveying. Next type of tape is a special type of tape called the Invar tape. Invar tape, uh, it is uh, used to find the precise distance between two objects. Uh, it is made of an alloy of nickel and steel consisting of 36% nickel and 64% steel. This alloy uh, makes sure that uh, this uh, tape will have the least thermal coefficient. So least thermal coefficient means it is uh, less uh, susceptible to uh, thermal expansion. So uh, this is one of the advantages of Invar tape whereas the disadvantages are that it is costly and uh, over uh, time it tends to uh, get subjected to creep and because of creep the um, distance uh, measured by the uh, Invar tape tends to be less precise. So these are the types of chains and tapes and the other types of linear measurements available other than chaining are by optical means. This means uh, by uh, triangulation or by uh, tachymetry. 
uh, we will look into these in the upcoming chapters and uh, so these are the optical means of finding linear measurements the next one is electromagnetic methods electromagnetic methods uh, may, it mainly refers to EDM which means electromagnetic distance meters uh, which uses the principle of propagation reflection and reception of uh, radio waves or uh, uh, light waves or infrared waves and using this principle uh, we will find the distance between two objects so these are the uh, types of chains and tapes and other methods of finding linear measurements do give this video a like and please do subscribe the channel and share the video see you guys in the next video bye